So you may be wondering why the PS1 loading screen when I you probably thought I was retired. Well, I'm doing a special project because my girlfriend said so. And, yep. And she is right here. Yep. In fact, all I'm doing here is narrating everything you are about to see in the to the end of this let's play was done by my girlfriend. She recorded all of the gameplay and she is a very elite gamer. And I love her. Aww. I love you too. Aww. Well, there's Spyro. Look at him. Little purple dragon guy. Yeah. So, um, backstory. We're gonna kinda try to make this the... A combination of the informative, funny, and angry types of Let's Plays. Because I've noticed those are the three main types. But we're about to go into a little cutscene. So I think I'll shut up. For a while. You know what? No, I won't shut up. You've all. I hope you've played Spyro. And if you really care about what you're saying, go play Spyro yourself. It's a good enough game that everyone should play it. It's quite possibly one of my favorite games ever. Yeah. And you're hella good at it too. Yeah, the first, As, second, and third ones pretty great. As you will all see in the upcoming parts of this Let's Play, my girlfriend is better at me, better than me at games. It irks me every single day, but, you know. I guess I'm just lucky to have a gamer girlfriend. So, um, yeah, funny story. Right after I posted that sappy letter about how I was quitting Let's Plays to focus on more important things, yeah, we were playing this game one day, and I had no idea, she had no idea about my channel yet at this point, but she's like, you know, I've always wanted to record a Let's Play of this game, and I'm just sitting like, how about a what? Uh, the, so yeah, she, she knew what a Let's Play is, and it, it, it blew my mind. And no, this doesn't mean I'm coming out of retirement, don't ask. Now onto the friendly, John. <laughs> So, yeah, we're going to, we're not going to be showing the dragons. We'll show the first couple, but we're going to be skipping, like, 90% of them. Except for one, our favorite dialogue, dragon. Yeah, it's pretty funny. There's, well, basically half of the dragons in the game say the same thing. Pretty much, should I, should I spoil it? I'm sure everyone's played the game. Don't spoil it, some people might not have. That's a good point. So... Basically, all the dragons are saying is, Hey, watch Sparks, kill Nasty Nork, and don't be retarded, basically. Yeah. Because Sparks is... In case you're one of the five people on the planet who haven't played this game, Sparks is your health meter, and ah yes, active camera. I really don't know the difference, but... Anyway, Sparks is your health meter. When he's gold like that, well... It, He's yellow, but he's shining, therefore I consider it gold, because he's shining, but th that, that's irrelevant. Apparently I'm colorblind, according to my girlfriend, because yeah. I, because the gems that are quite clearly blue in this game look very purple in the second and third game, and there is a clear difference in color, and come on guys, back me up here. I, I know there's 778 of you at the time I'm recording this, you gotta back me up here, I gotta win this argument. Anyway... Yeah, when Sparks is yellow, you can be hit three more times until you die. When he's blue, you have two, and when he's green, you can only be hit once. After you get hit once when he's green, you no longer have Sparks. Which, other than meaning you have only one hit point left, is an enormous annoyance, because you, if you've noticed, he's kind of picking up all the adjacent gems for you. Yeah, he can't do that when he's not there. So when you're down to your last hit point, you have to manually go, and you have to make bodily contact with every gem you want to pick up, which is... It really adds a lot of time to the game. I think there was only one point in this entire Let's Play, though, where we didn't have Sparks. Yeah, and there. that was that really ridiculous thing that we'll mention when we get there. Yeah, so... We tr really tried to make a no-death run, and we came really close, but it ended up being, what, a two-death run? Yeah. So yeah, there's two deaths, and... One death on purpose that we don't count as a death, because in the speedways, you don't lose lives. Right, so if you don't lose a life... I don't know, that's up to you to determine. We don't count it as a death. You might. And actually, it was kind of a funny death in the first place. Right, and the other real death... 
Well, there's some comic relief to it. We've actually... We've already fully edited this Let's Play. We're ar just recording the narration now. We haven't split it into parts yet, so we're gonna do that. We're gonna try to find places where our commentary is, you know, break breaking. We're gonna try to put breaks in the commentary about where every level starts, because if we absolutely can't find a good place to split, that's always a good place, is at the start of a level. So, we're gonna be uploading these really quickly. Maybe not all on the same day, because as we just found out, it's probably going to be tw like 20-some parts. But we're going to be uploading them fairly quickly, so I don't see any problem with them not being 10 minutes long. So th there might be some 6-7 minute long videos, maybe even less. But uh, no, I wouldn't think less than 6 or 7 minutes. It takes longer than that to clear a level. Yeah. Some levels might span into two videos, but I would hope that's a rarity. Treetops. Treetops Tree -tops will split into two. And... Another irksome thing about Spyro, if you miss a gem, it's so hard to find it. They made that better in the second game, because you had a gem pointer if you held down all four shoulder buttons, and that was in the third game, but you had to unlock it. But, yeah, that wasn't in the first game. Fortunately, none of the gems are really horribly well hidden. Except in Dreamweavers. Yeah, well, Dreamweavers. Heh, <laughs> Macromedia. Well, that's Adobe now. I fail at making jokes. So, internal microphone, I really hope this doesn't echo. If it does, I guess we're just gonna have to move the audio around until it syncs up so perfectly that you can't notice. Right. What else can we do? I've never recorded something without headphones while using the internal mic, so... I don't know, but, um, what else do we need to explain? There are 80 dragons in the game. And... Um... Let's see. We played this on a PS2. I was gonna lie and say we played it on a PS3 so you would feel like you're getting more PS3 Let's Plays, but honestly, I don't have many games for the PS3. I can't do much more than I did, so... I Let's Played Portal, and that game is probably one of my favorites, and one of yours, too. Yep. We play it together regularly. And, will anyone who... Did you see that box that we had to flame and then a gem flew out the top and you had to jump to catch it? Will anyone who called it a jumpy box as a kid please raise their hand? Now will anyone who raised their hand please slap themselves in the face for raising your hand to someone who won't see it? Now if you actually did leave a comment. Yeah, I want to know. Because apparently, as we both found out by accident one day while we were playing this, we both referred to them as jumpy boxes. So, I don't know. I figure... If we both called them jumpy boxes, there have to be people out there who think alike. So, yeah, leave a comment. We want to know. They probably have an official name. If I had the instruction manual, I'd know, but there's a reason I don't have the instruction manual, and it's a reason that I can't tell you online. And no, I didn't buy it from PlayStation Network. If I did, this would be played on a PS3. Aha! <laughs> Seven. Seven dragons. Is that the end of the level? Oh. Oh, there's more gems. I'm not that late. Give it like a minute more. Right. Okay, the thieves. I've never seen the thieves get pwned harder in my life. Oh, you know what? I, I don't have anything else to talk about, so let's comment on the music. So there's this little rinky-dink band. You've probably never heard of them, but um, yeah, they, they, had a few, they had a few semi-popular songs. They're called The Police. Yeah. The police. You you might have heard of them. In Pro fact, I'm sure half of you have heard of them if you've played Guitar Hero or Rock Band. You killed the irony. Ni nice job breaking it, Hero. But anyway, yeah. The drummer from The Police composed every song in the first four Spyro games. But in the fourth game, you could tell he was out of ideas and his music was barely audible and it just sucked. In fact, everything about that game sucks, but not as bad as the fifth one. The fifth one is good. Moneybags is a Russian in the fifth one. I don't, I don't really hate Russians. I'm, I'm pretty sure I must have some Russian viewers. I have to. And if I do have Russian viewers... Um... Howdy. So, yeah. You know, we're probably gonna split the video here, so I guess this is gonna be the end of part one. So, I will see you guys... Well, you know what? No, th I'm not splitting it. I don't split it till I go to the next world. Okay. But anyway, this is probably going to be the end. In the next part, 
we are definitely going to tackle the speedway, and this will probably be one of the last parts that has a nice even split. Just saying. But to unlock the speedway, you have to walk on all of these stones in this pattern, and then they will start flashing yellow and open. So in the next part, we'll take on the speedway.